Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a hyena, and so first you're going to start by drawing a circle down near the bottom corner of your paper. It needs to be kind of big, so about the size of, never mind, um, so this is going to be your hyena's head. No, we always start with his head. So here's his head. So how, hyena's ears are kind of cool. They're actually square. So you're gonna go up. And around, and kind of like that. They're very square. So you're going to draw kind of a triangle square shape. The shape that I have for my hyena's ear right here. But this is just the inside of his ear. So now we're going to do the outside. So you're going to come out like that. And then just come over and into the first one you did. So there's our hyena's ear. So now we're going to do his other ear, which is going to be behind his head, on the other side of his head. So it's going to be smaller and harder to see. So you're going to go up, around, and down. You're not going to do all of the ear, because you can't see it as well as the other ear. And you're this is the outside of the ear. You're not going to do the inside of the ear because it's facing the other way. So there's our hyena's ears. Now we need to do his nose or muzzle. So you're going to come down the circle you made and come out like that. And then come in and like that. So there's our hyena's nose. I mean muzzle, is muzzle. So they're in the dog family, so they have that dogish muzzle. So now we're gonna do our hyena's neck. And their neck, their heads are always like hanging down low and they have like long necks and they're either have, having their head really high or having their head really low. So, we're going to make our hyena's head low, unless you made his head, like, up here. Then you can do his neck long, but we're doing our hyena's head down. So, you're going to come out and go up, like that. And then you're going to go up, and then this is where the neck ends and where his shoulder is. And the hyenas have a really cool, have really cool fur on their neck. They have kind of a mane. So you're just going to draw some little hair sticking up. You can make it as long as you want. And it actually goes almost all the way down their back. So we're going to go all the way up the line that we did for his mane. So, there's his mane. So now we're going to do the other part of his, his, the, his back and his back legs and legs. So hyena's backs are actually kind of tilted down. So, we're going to kind of go down a little bit just a gentle slope like that just just barely going down so there's his back and you can make his mane go all the way down his back if you want to it gets smaller as it goes down like that that might even be a little bit too long But it can be as long as you want. So there's our hyena's back. 
and his head. So now we need to do his legs. So we're going to do his front legs first. So we're going to trace over this part of the head and go up, kind of very thick, and just have thick necks. And you're going to come out very, going to have a very short part, and you're going to come out pretty soon. So it's kind of short down there. This is going to be where his chest is. Come down more if you want to. Now we're going to draw his front legs. So, we're going to come down like that. So, and then you can do the same thing on the other side. You can even add a little bit of hair right there. And then for his paws, we're just going to do our regular dog paws that we do. So we're going to curve down, kind of a box shape, and come back up. And then you're going to do his toes. You don't have to. And then you're going to do your hyena's claws. You can see their claws. So there's his claws. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So now we're going to do his other, other leg. We're going to make him walking. So we're going to make this leg lifted in the air. So I'm going to draw out and then just come in like that. And then you're going to trace over that line, come down, and his paw is going to be hiding behind the other paw that we did. Sorry about that. Hiccups. So there's his paw. And you can't see the bottom part of his paw comes down like right here. So now we're going to do his back legs. You're going to do his belly like that. And then you're going to do his legs. They're kind of curved back. So you're just going to kind of curve it back a little bit. And then do your dog paws. Sorry about the paint on me. I was just painting. So there's our hyena's back leg. You're going to... Finish off his back and connect it. For this is where his gonna tail is gonna be. So now we're going to draw his other leg. We're gonna draw it coming forward. So you're gonna draw a little bump right here and then come out and just go into his front leg. And then you're going to trace that line like that. So there's our hyenas legs and back and his head so now we're gonna do his tail they have cute tails so we're gonna just draw some little fur like this they have kind of cute fluffy tails like that and make his tail wagging so there's our hyena's tail now we need to do our hyena's face so you're going to erase this first circle that we did and make that. So now we're going to do his eyes. So I'm going to come back about in the middle of where the, this edge of his head is and then his ear. And then you're going to... Kind of just do whatever shape you want for his eyes. You can make them um, realistic. If you want to do that, you just do a little V shape and then like that. But I'm making our hyena's eyes cute. So then you're going to come down inside the eyes. Yeah, inside the eye. This is his pupil. And I added a little, some little lines down there. And you can do a little highlight inside and then color it in so he's cuter. So this one's just a little puppy. You can do the same thing on the other side. You can't see all of his eyes, so you can just do a little black mark right there. So now we're going to do his nose. His nose is where he pointed this out. 
and we're going to see most of his nose. So you're going to come out and curve in like that. And you can even make it come out of his muzzle a little bit since you can see a lot, a lot of it. Then you're going to color it in. So there's our hyena, but he still needs his mouth. So we're going to do his mouth like that. You can draw his mouth however you want, but this is how I'm drawing mine. So there's our hyena, and spotted hyenas, which is the one that we're drawing, they have spots. So you don't have to draw spots if you don't want to, but if you do, they have spots all over them. So you can just draw them in random spots. So I did my hyena spots. Since he's a spotted hyena, I just put spots everywhere. But down by their paws, they don't have as many. And on their face, they don't have as many. It kind of fades out. So you can you don't have to put any spots on your hyena if you don't want to. But you can. And there's your hyena. And you can put some little details in there. Any little details that you want in there. I'm going to make some nice tall grass. Since they live where there's tall grass. I'm just very lightly doing the grass so you can still see the hyena. But he's hiding in the tall grass. So there's your our hyena. Bye. Thanks for watching.